<laughs> they're here. They're here. The aliens. They're here. The Olsen twins from Full House. They're aliens. Did you know that? Joey Lawrence from, from Blossom. He's an alien. Oh, they're here. They're aliens. They're here. Yeah, right, Master. So how did you make this startling yet amazing discovery? Well, I was watching a TV program on, on Fox last night. It was uh, uh, incredible sightings. Oh, that figures. And, and it, it said how one out of every three Americans was an alien. <laughs> how can you tell? Oh, they have perfectly white teeth. Oh, you mean like Ricky Lake? Ooh, ooh, good example. Ricky Lake, she's an alien! She's an alien! <laughs> now listen, if you'll just calm down for a minute, I can let you loose and we'll review the evidence. In the meantime, let's have a visit from the Man of Steel. Tie me up like this next week, would you? I'd love to tie you up again, you big pile of Novalox. Thanks. Have you ever wanted to star in a major international movie? Now you can become an international star in the magnitude of Charo if you now enroll in the Chester Bates School of Movie Dubbing. With our exhaustive course, you will be able to perfectly enunciate such difficult phrases as The name is Bond. James Bond. And to handle lines like the following, just like international star Jim Varney. Know what I mean, Burn? Most importantly, you'll be able to hone your acting skills to have such dramatic scenes as the following. No! Just call 1-800-B-A-D-D-U-B-B, -B -B. that's Bad Dub, to get our free introductory package. Become an international film star today and remember the number. That's 1-800-BAD-DUB to make you a star. Hello and welcome to the Pig Report. Today's topic, aliens. Are they a menace or are they benevolent spirits? Aliens are a menace, plain and simple. I tend to believe that they are benevolent spirits sent to help us through these trying times in oh. the late 20th century. Oh, you would. First, you have to know, who are the aliens? Yeah, how can you spot them? Often you can tell by their perfectly white teeth, like Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee? Kathy Lee's not an alien. She's too beautiful, too perfect. Exactly. Ooh. I think anybody that wears baseball caps backwards are aliens. Rappers. All rappers are aliens. Don't trust them. Ooh. And they've got perfectly white teeth. Sign number two. Don't trust them. Aliens. All of, what do you think? Well, I think you may be confusing this with the limited vocabulary exhibited by the same individuals. That's true. Here's another example. Joey Lawrence on Blossom. He's got a limited vocabulary. He can only go, whoa. <laughs> Good point. Uh, and, uh, Ronald Reagan. How he became president, I won't ever guess. Do what? you know that each uh, word in Ronald Reagan's name is six letters long? So that Ronald Wilson Reagan is actually 666, or the number of the beast? Oh, that's scary. Oh. That's what I thought as soon as oh. I heard it. What about their sexual habits and tendencies? Well, they might be male, they might be female, or perhaps they could be like earthworms. Earthworms? Yes, you know, hermaphroditic carrying both the male and female sexual organs, able to reproduce with themselves. Earthworms. Ooh, I kind of like that. <laughs> you would. Ah, uh, you know what else are aliens? Trolls. Trolls are aliens. They're everywhere. You know what else? What? Every teenage girl has a bunch of trolls. I think this is a clear it's a plot, a conspiracy to overtake the uh, youth of our society. Absolutely. Ooh, speaking of youth of society, we have a call on line one. Hello, caller. Uh, Chuck? I'm uh, not Chuck, I'm Chester. Uh, Chester, Chester. Chester. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I, I have recently uh, become aware of an alien conspiracy. Oh, really? Where? Uh, it's between the, the L5 and the Trilateral Commission and the Loyal Benevolent Order of Elks. What the what? hell is that? And what the hell are you saying? Conspiring along with 
With gay congressmen. Oh, shut up. Hang up and get out of here, you bugger. Well, but Chester, there, there are aliens. Shut up. We are in my here. pants right now. Right yeah, now, yeah, Chester. there's aliens Please in my pants. Please send Woody over too. right away. Yeah. All right, well, on to the next topic, which is, uh, what is it? Well, I think the next topic is our film for the day. Oh, the film for, well, the film. We're already halfway through the film, you bonehead. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think that maybe we should go back to the film. Well, right. that's what I meant, oh, you bonehead. Oh, but before we go to the film, let's talk about our letter. We've got our first letter from little Justin Vela. Sure He's to be followed by many more letters. Oh, I'm sure everybody's going to be sending us informational contracts, everything like that. He's from me no money. <laughs> well, Justin. Me no money either, but I don't go talking about it. Yeah, Justin, well, he must be an alien too, because he's written it in either red crayon or blood. I don't know. It says here, Chester is scary. <laughs> Woody is Gordon a funny. Yeah, okay. I hope his arm grows back. Ooh, isn't that another sign of aliens? Oh, it's just a flesh wound. It didn't come off. Oh, that's right. It's, it's still on there. So, he wants to be in our fan club. You, too, can be in the fan club. Right, Chester's fan club? Care of public access? 400 Eau Claire Street, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, 54701. Any bonehead out there should be able to remember that. <laughs> and remember, it's not just the Chester fan club. It's the Chester and Woody fan club. Yeah, Woody did. Back to the movie, okay, kids? <laughs> I am taking control of this paranormal program to speak to me and aliens everywhere. You Urkins are so wrong in your perception of me and my family. We mean to be in uh, uh, Not exactly in harm. Definitely some harm. Just not a lot. Well, okay, actually, it is a lot. Actually, all the planets are about a Probably a little pain and suffering. Uh, oh, forget it. Well, Bates, you've gone too far. You've let some stupid paranoid delusion rule your life. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe I was wrong. Damn right you're wrong. You're just a pawn of the media. You buy into their dirty little toilet bowl of paranoia, and you swim in it. Just like the tidy bowl man. Ooh, the tidy bowl man. Whoa, thanks to a complete lack of logic on our scriptwriter's part, I was able to bring you back to reality. I was beginning to worry about you, old chum. Ah, uh, no need to worry about me. I'm just plain stupid. <laughs> well, <laughs> and you remember out there in TV Packland, the only aliens we have to worry about are those who run the... Hey, wait a sec. Who run the, the cable TV, TV corporation. It's they who... Hey... Who subvert us in ways even I don't understand. <laughs> I didn't know you were terrible. Well, now you know.